Hi, I'm Tawny from UnravelledMotherhood.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to homeschool if you are disorganized like I am. Um, I think that in the homeschool realms, there's kind of this idea that there's two types of homeschool moms. One is a super organized type A personality who has like the perfect homeschool room and everything's organized, color coded. Um, and then there's this other idea where you have to be this hippie homeschool mom where you just play in the dirt all day and, you know, gather rocks. And if you're like me, you're kind of a little bit of both. Maybe you're a little disorganized, but also you still want some structure. I'm going to share with you some four tips to how um, to homeschool your children. for homeschooling as a disorganized person is to choose a model or approach that you love. So there's a bunch of different models when it comes to homeschooling and um, you can go and research more about it. I'm not a um, professional by all means. By all means? By any means. By any means? I, I just wanted to share with you some of the different ones that you may hear about are classical, uh, unit studies, Charlotte Mason, um, unschooling. If you are a disorganized person, I highly recommend <laughs> I highly recommend finding an approach or model that you love because it'll make it a lot easier uh, when you fall off bandwagon or where they're struggling with something. My second tip is to set goals for you and your child. So if you are a disorganized person, I highly recommend writing down some goals for you want to have like for the whole year uh, academically if you are interested in like teaching your kids like kindness or Bible verses um, just writing down those goals because writing down those goals will really help you in those times where you're feeling like you can't control the situation um, you have lost your place in schooling or you things have come up or you're going through a funk um, to go back to those goals and to reinvigorate like what you're doing, what you're wanting to do. Oh, don't eat that, son. Writing down those goals will help you focus on what you want to focus on, uh, hone on what is important to you when things get messy and you've overwhelmed yourself or lost your place. And it will remind you what is important to you. And those are always changeable. And that brings me to my third tip keep persevering and making changes just be flexible because um, you might think you want to do a certain approach and, love it, and then you realize this is not working for my kid or this is not working for me you might want to do a certain subject <laughs> sorry you might want to do a certain subject and uh, are really excited about doing all these subjects and realize that one subject is not fitting into your schedule or you wanted to do a different extracurricular or something like that um, being flexible really helps you to realize that you don't have to do everything and that's the benefit of homeschool is you're not bound to a um, program or a what's it called curriculum you're not bound to a certain subject you just need to do what you want to focus on whatever um, state regulations you may have you probably want to look at those but aside from that you're free to be as strict or as loose as you want and you can um, change your goals and change your curriculum if you need to um, because sometimes the ideas of what we think are gonna what we think is gonna work does it right Ollie high five high five for my last tip for this video prepare ahead <laughs> that's funny um, when it comes to homeschooling if you're a disorganized person like me or kind of go with the flow type of person, you want to prepare ahead because uh, you never know what's going to happen. Your friends might show up and you hang out and drink coffee all day and you don't get to the school until, to schooling until the next day or dinner time. Um, so depending on the age of your children, obviously your flexibility is going to change and what they can do by themselves. But um, prepare ahead. If you have paper worksheets that you want to print out, print those out. If you have manipulatives you want to have ready um, and you need them color coordinated, do that ahead of time. If you have 
food or an activity you want to do, get all that materials ahead of time, just like any school teacher. Um, when you plan ahead, it makes things go a lot smoother because you never know. I mean, it is such a headache to print a paper out with my three small children because someone's trying to pull it from the printer, someone is trying to press buttons on the printer or close the door on the printer, and yeah, so plan ahead. So those are my four tips, and I'll quickly read them off again. One, plan a model or approach that you love. Pick a model or approach that you love. Set goals for you and your child. Uh, keep persevering and make changes. Make changes when necessary, and prepare ahead. So plan ahead. So those are my four tips for homeschooling. If you're a disorganized person, um, I would love to hear what your tips are. If you're disorganized, or if you're not, what are your tips for homeschooling? Um, leave them down in the comments. And please, if you like this video, like and subscribe.